Hi guys, I am KL Clark, the donor and content creator here at KLD's Book Club and I am so happy to have you all here for episode 4 of writing your vision so that you can accomplish your goals. So in today's episode, we are going to focus on turning your dreams into reality with the power of your tongue. Alright, so did you know that your voice is the most influential voice in your own life or words are powerful and more so the words that you choose to speak over your life it matters Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 tells us that death and life are in the power of your tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits ouch what does that mean it means we should therefore fill our mouth with words of life and not death. So did you know that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So as a man, meaning a person, thinks, so is he or she. And that's what Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 says. And Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 also goes on to say and above all above all you should be careful what you think because your thoughts control your life you should remove perverse speech from your mouth and keep devious talk far from your lips even Luke chapter 6 verse 45 tells us that out of the, aban out of the abundance of our hearts that our mouth speaks so therefore we should be very careful what we feed our minds and what we think on yes we have some thinking to do and think on things that are good so I've been quoting proverbs and there and I am being intentional about quoting proverbs because you know that proverb is a book of wisdom it teaches us how to live wisely so with these scriptures as our foundation, let's turn our dreams into reality using the power of our tongue. Our minds, as we know, is a powerful and amazing thing. And what we think on often is going to become our reality. So if we have a negative mindset, guess what? You're going to have negative results. It's like what you say, garbage in, garbage out. What you repeatedly think on and do is what will become your reality. So therefore, it's important that we fill our minds and our mouths with positive thoughts. Thoughts that are true, thoughts that are honorable, thoughts that are right, thoughts that are pure, that are lovely, that are admirable. Think on things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And reference for that would be Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Our thoughts and the words that we speak are the parts we to our destiny so our dreams become in reality and the manifestation of our vision for our lives depends on our thoughts and the words that we speak did you know that your internal beliefs about yourself will directly impact your external success yes that is very true yes that is why i am also so so very passionate about this series called writing your vision so that you can accomplish your goals as well as the process of visualizing and believing what God says you are and who he called you to be. When our thoughts are where, when our thoughts are in alignment more or less to where we want to be in the future in terms of our vision for our life that God would have planted in us. It helps us to decide how we live today. When we have our written vision or our vision board before us, our before us in our minds daily, when it's always to the fore of our minds, it would motivate us to act and work towards achieving our goals, even when we don't feel like it. Yes, motivation is important, and being motivated about your vision and accomplishing it is very, very, very important. Remember what you repeatedly hear you would eventually believe and guess what you will believe your own voice more than anyone else's voice so use your words today 
to shape the future that you want. Shape it in such a way to manifest your God-given vision. Don't just use your words to say, to, to talk about your circumstances of what is currently is, but no, use your words to change the narrative. Use your words to, to create what you want to see. It's fair to be your what can be and not your what is. So your words are important. And what words are you going to use today? Is it words that is going to get you closer to your vision? Words of affirmation, words of acceleration, or are you going to use words of limitation that would get you further away from realizing your God-given potential? So, I hope you choose the better one. I hope that you are able to speak good things over yourself, over your life, over your finances, over your family, your health, your career, and even your business. Your words should be taking you closer to your dreams, your vision that you have written down so that you can accomplish your goals. At times, we may experience an identity gap. What is an identity gap? Identity gap is how you feel now seeing your circumstances before you versus who God called you to be versus who God says you are in his way versus the vision that God has for you and I want to make a reference to a story in the Bible which is taken from the book of Jeremiah so we know that Jeremiah was a young person when God called him to be a prophet to the nations and his first response was that of fear and, and being very dismal and he was like, it was me. I'm a little young boy. I'm so inexperienced. Oh my gosh. No. And God needed to talk to him and readjust his thinking. So that what comes out of his mouth would have been in alignment with who God called him to be. And yes, sometimes we need to realign our thoughts. And the best way to do that is to renew yourself with reading the word of God. That is the honest truth. And guess what? When Jeremiah was able to align himself with who God called him to be, guess what? He was able to fulfill his purpose. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 would have told us that God had good plans for him. Plans to prosper him. Not for his harm, not for his not for evil, but plans to give him a hope and a future. And that is what God wants for you today too. So, let's start declaring affirmations and scriptures over our lives today. Because what is coming out of your mouth, what is coming out, out of our mouth, has everything to do with what you are experiencing now and what you will experience in the future. Your words are a tool to either accomplish or not accomplish your goals. So let's use our words to accomplish our God-given goals so that we can accomplish our vision. Speak life and not death over your circumstances. Turn your smart goals. Remember we did that? So it is something that is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic or relevant and time-bound. So that you can accomplish your goals and your goals should be well defined clarified and we can now use those goals that we have written and took time to massage as to what we really want and turn them into declarations you would know what is yours but i'm just going to give an example of how we can turn our goals into objectives and speak it confidently so that we can accomplish them so for example, you might say, I am a homeowner, I am a good mother, I am a good father, I am a good friend, I am debt free, I have just paid off my $20,000 debt. You need to be specific, remember. I am a profitable business owner, I am healthy and in good shape, I am highly focused on my goals and my vision. I am blessed with favor and abundance. And guess what? For today, you're going to get a bonus episode, which I'm going to air right after this, that would 
give my okay lilies book club words of affirmation and declarations that you can say over your life daily all right but that'll be a separate video so tune in one time afterwards and james chapter 2 verse 17 says or rather it tells us that faith by itself is if it is not accompanied by action it is dead more or less faith without works is dead so even though we have our goals well defined and written and that we are affirming ourselves with it because we believe that it would come to pass we also need to put it into action we need to work towards accomplishing those goals so don't just think hey i'm just gonna pray about it and say yes speak it into the atmosphere no you then need to take it a step further a step further and put actionable steps towards you accomplishing your vision so for example say you want to be a profitable seamstress in the future you would have had a time period so you want to be a profitable seamstress within a year what should you be doing what are some of these steps that you should start working towards First of all, you should start investing in yourself by having the necessary equipment. You should have your sewing machine, you should have your surgery, you should have your tread, you should be have done a course, you should be practicing your trade, you can do a bookkeeping course because you want to be able to make money and to be able to maintain your books. You want to be able to register your business, do those legal aspects of your life, of your business earlier clock because everything is a building block so start doing steps proactively towards achieving your vision that you have for yourself so as i end remember that faith without words is dead and nothing happens in a vacuum nothing will happen until you take action so yes Say your affirmations daily. Believe that you will accomplish your goals. But you need to take steps towards achieving them. Because wishful thinking and saying a prayer is not enough. No, you need to take action. Remember, a goal. That's why it's always good that we have a, having the same platform, having the same scope that we know what is a goal. So we would have defined a goal as a desired result that you want to have and we know that there's three things we need to do we first need to envision it which speaks about you writing down your vision you need to plan so this speaks about having an action plan as to the steps you will take to accomplish it and three you need to be able to achieve it you have to commit to achieving it and this speaks of consistency on your part so be encouraged. Thanks for watching and tune in for that bonus episode now. Be encouraged. KL.